Um, my name is William Petty. I'm a co-director at the Independent School Show and Bonus McFarlane. This is one of the ways which we're bringing you schools into into your home, if you like, uh, without you having to, uh, to to leave the lockdown, and to get some sense of the amazing uh, array of boarding schools um, uh, and all schools all around the country. Um, so now on to our last schools actually and I say plural because it's the Berkhamsted Schools Group in Hertfordshire made up of uh, a few schools and they're going to introduce us to those and to do that we are joined live by Richard Backhouse and I think some very high-tech green screening that will hopefully give us a tour to give the truck in the background of uh, all of his schools uh, so without further ado Richard over to you. Thank you Will good morning to you and to those watching online and if you're watching later in the day uh, or on another occasion, good morning, afternoon or evening, whichever is appropriate to you. Um, my name's Richard Backhouse and I'm principal of the Berkhamsted Group of Schools. Now, it's often said that parents face six key decisions when they choose a school. And I want to suggest to you this morning that that's not quite the case and that it's possible to have your cake and eat it, or as the French say, I believe, to have your cake and your money. First of all, Parents are encouraged to think that they need to choose a school which is either single sex or co-ed. And in fact, it's possible to have both. Berkhamsted, like a growing number of schools in England, is a diamond school. And that means that we are co-ed up to the age of 11, although we also have the option of a girls only prep school. But between 11 and 16, our pupils are separated onto different sites by gender for all their lessons. They still do extracurricular activities together, drama and music. They still do and go on school trips together. They come to school and leave the school on coaches together. But their lessons are separate boys and girls. We're able to get all the benefits of being single sex and all the benefits of being co-ed. It's often said too that parents should choose a big school or a small school. And that too is something that we can give parents the best of both worlds. We are a group of six schools with just over 2,000 students but our largest school is only 500 pupils. So it's possible and indeed required that the head of each of the schools knows all the pupils individually so that we can give individual care and individual development to every child, but we can give every child access to the resources of a school of more than 2,000 students, the best of both worlds. And we're a school which has boarding and day. We have only a few boarders, some from overseas, some from the UK. But it's often the case that parents uh, enjoy the fact that we can flex our support for them to include an early breakfast or staying until supper or including supper or prep or late into the evening or when a parent is marooned in a business meeting in another country or has been before we were all locked down. Possible for us to keep people overnight unexpectedly because we have provision for all of that and we want to support parents and their working lives. And then fourthly, it's often said that parents need to choose between a school that's in a town and it's in the country. Well, we're in an idyllic market town with a market day on Wednesday and Saturday and a farmer's market uh, once a month on a Sunday, and yet only half an hour from Euston uh, by train. Uh, less than half an hour when the traffic is good from Luton Airport and Heathrow Airport. So all the benefits of being in the city and all the benefits of being in the country. And we're also an old school founded, in fact, by Henry VIII, Thomas Cromwell, just before he was sent to the tower but the deed in front of Henry VIII, who founded uh, our school in 1541. So we have, we're an old school with heritage. Uh, our old hall was founded to be the largest school hall in England when it was built. That was the instruction to the builders. But we're a modern, forward-looking school. We issue every pupil with a Microsoft Surface Go or Pro from the age of nine to 18. And a lot of our curriculum is online, which has been fantastic uh, in recent months to be able to support our students as well online as we do when they're present in the school. And then it's often said that parents need to choose a school which is either all round or very ambitious. And again, we can offer parents the best of both worlds. I think it's hard to tell when your child is young and you're choosing a school, what kind of young person, what kind of adult they're going to grow up to be. And as we see those children go up to become multicolour, three-dimensional versions of themselves, so they grow into their adult self, we offer the opportunity for them to become hugely ambitious academically. We have debating and extension societies where the pupils give lectures and ask questions. We have strong Oxbridge entry programs. But pupils may also choose, they really want to throw their energy into the performing arts. 
and our drama department was ranked, uh, was shortlisted for National Drama Department of the Year last year. Or they may throw more energy into sport. We were ranked third in the country for sport. We're the largest uh, Duke of Edinburgh cohort. We offer all these things, so all round and ambitious. I'd strongly encourage you to come and visit us because we can offer you really the best of both worlds. We offer a values-based achievement culture in an idyllic market town 30 minutes from central London. We've been developing remarkable people here since 1541, and we're continuing to do that. Come and visit us. Maybe your children will be the remarkable people we develop in the next decade. The best of both worlds. Richard, thank you very much. And um, uh, enjoyed the, uh, the, the video walkthrough of the various buildings and schools there. That was fabulous.